Many applications use keyboard shortcuts to incrementally move or adjust settings. An example of this is in Adobe Premiere Pro, the left and right arrow keys will move the playhead in that direction on the timeline. The touch ring on current Wacom products allows users to choose from presets or adjust these to their individual needs or to enhance specific applications. To set the touch ring to jog the timeline in Premiere Pro, select the appropriate device in the Wacom Desktop Center. Select the Touch Ring Settings option on the right. In Wacom Tablet Properties, to change this setting for Premiere Pro only, click the plus to the right of the Applications list. If Premiere Pro is running, select it. If it's not running, select Browse and browse to Premiere Pro. Select the application, then select Open. With Premiere Pro selected in the application list, select the keystroke from one of the drop-down menus on the Touch Ring tab. Select the first field and press the Clear button. Then press the left arrow to record that function for the anti- or counterclockwise motion around the touch ring. Select the clockwise field by tapping or clicking in it. Do not try and tab to the field as it will record the tab key. Press the right arrow on the keyboard to record this function for the clockwise motion of the touch ring. Once again, tap or select the name field. Do not tab. Name it and select OK to confirm it. Adjust the speed if it performs too fast or too slow. Rather than jogging one frame at a time, the next quadrant can be set to the Shift and Arrow key to jog 10 frames at a time. It is very helpful to have one setting that jogs slowly and another that jogs quickly. Set the next quadrant to keystrokes as well and choose the same settings, only this time hold the Shift key while pressing the arrows. It will record this setting in the keystrokes field, then name it Fast Jog and select OK to confirm it. Test it in Premiere Pro and adjust the speed setting accordingly. To toggle between the four settings, press the button in the center of the touch ring or the quadrant on a mobile studio. A light on the tablet will indicate which of the settings is currently active, and a dialog may briefly show up on the left side of the screen, indicating the touch ring's current function. 